Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the week of November 11th through the 17th. This is for Scorpio, Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up November 11th through the 17th. What can Scorpio expect? Scorpio. Expect the unexpected, Scorpio. Okay, we got the moon card. So there's something that you are unaware of. There is something that is hidden that is about to pop up. Something below the surface. It's like there's just something that is unseen. Okay, you don't you don't see it yet. You don't see it coming, but it's coming. All right. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is on a mission. Um, this person, I don't know who you're dealing with, but this person is, uh, she could be causing problems in your life. This could be you. This could be you. This is somebody that uh, is bitter. I mean, this is a bitter individual. She has a point to prove, and she's going to do it in any way that she that she has to do it okay so be prepared be prepared there's something could be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer there's something that you are unaware of that is about to pop up um, page of cups reversed now this the Page of Cups reversed is somebody that is unemotional. And we have unemotional here as well. So something is not emotionally fulfilling. There, It could be very intense. It could definitely be a very intense week for you. Um, there could be some conflict that is coming up. You're going to probably be, you may even be fearful, okay? Just saying, i got to be honest with you. Um, this Page of Cups reversed, this, there's, this is like a lack of emotion or very or overly emotional. You may be very emotional this week. Definitely, you could be very emotional. This is an obstacle being removed. There's been an obstacle in the way. I mean, you could be dealing with a very mean person, somebody that is bitter, somebody that is cold, somebody that doesn't show you love. I'm not sure if that's the case or if this is vice versa, but we got somebody here that has been staying in a very unhappy place, trapped. They've been trapped in some sort of mental prison, but this is an obstacle being removed. Somebody could have also been lying. Okay, um, could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is about, uh, you could be dealing with somebody that is very cunning, very clever. Also very stubborn. It feels like somebody is about to come out of the woodwork. This is about stability. It's about security. Perhaps you will be, be regaining stability and security. Um, maybe you have been, maybe you misjudged somebody or somebody misjudged you. You may be feeling like you have been attacked. You may feel like you are under attacked. Maybe you have been really, really criticized. I see criticism here, which has made you think that you're not good enough or think that you're not worthy. Knight of Cups reversed. There's no relationship growth here. Somebody may have, have pretended that they loved you or, you know, told you all kinds of loving things and it was all a lie because this is lies and this is false love. So there is some sort of false romance here or false love. And I think this, this falseness is coming to the surface. You could have somebody that, or you, somebody is speaking up by the looks of things. This is the end of a relationship. It is. You could be losing a friendship, losing a relationship. There could be the end of a third party situation. 
There's definitely been some lies here that are at the surface. This is a wish being granted, Scorpio. So something that you have been wishing for, something that you have been hoping for, you are going to get this week. You may not believe it. You may be in a state of disbelief. You may be moving. Perhaps you're moving to a better place. Maybe somebody is taking you to a better place. This is moving on from an unrequited love situation that, you know, this whoever you are dealing with, it's like they pretended to love you. And I think that there's some sort of realization now and you are headed towards a better place. It's like you're moving. You are moving somewhere. I think it's definitely an intense and an emotional time as something is revealed about a friendship or a relationship that wasn't all that it claimed to be. It's like this person came in with all kinds of words of love. They told everybody it was love and it was a complete lie. I think it's coming to a complete halt. There's a relationship that is coming to a complete halt. Um... It's like you're not going to be working with the same people any, anymore. There's a lack of uh, togetherness. There's no teamwork. Somebody didn't put in effort. But you are about to move away from this situation. I feel like you are being protected in some way with this star card. Some sort of wish is being granted. You are being removed from this situation. There is going to be some sort of loss. There could This could be financial loss even. Um... Somebody is losing something, but it's for the highest good. It really is because of this star card. Consider this a blessing in disguise. This loss is a blessing in disguise with the star card. It is a true blessing. I think you are about to be blessed with something. But there is a loss and it's going to be tearful. It's going to be emotional. There's just something that you don't see that is about to pop up. And whatever this is, it's going to bring you a blessing in disguise of some sort. You could be dealing with a Leo who isn't very nice. This person is a coward. This person is weak. This person has a big ego. This person um, doesn't tell the truth. This person isn't practical. This person isn't stable. This person... Uh, may have been holding on to you for codependency reasons. There's de And this is a feeling of perhaps you letting go of this person. I don't know if it's an actual person or not. This person is shallow, may have a self-image problem. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, but this is a wish being granted. This is... This is uh, this person has been holding on. Perhaps this person is letting go or you are letting go of them. There's a lot of fear here. You may be afraid of this person. You could also be dealing with somebody who doesn't have good intentions. The King of Cups is somebody who is not emotionally balanced. They don't love. They don't know how to love. They are very withdrawn. They use silent treatment as a tool. They don't speak. They use emotional blackmail. They pretend that they love, but they really don't. So I think that you're dealing with somebody in that manner. This person may have made you feel uh, emotionally unbalanced. Perhaps they uh, have really cut you down in some way. I feel, Scorpio, as though you are withdrawing from a situation. I think that you are probably realizing whoever you are dealing with is not well or they don't love you. I mean, this is not love. Knight of Cups reversed. The Page of Cups reversed. The King of Cups reversed. Somebody hasn't been seeing it, though. Seems like the truth has been hidden. But some, there's some sort of wish being granted with that star card. What is this star card? That's moving. You're moving away from something. Going to a better place. Somebody has uh, acted recklessly and they may have taken advantage of you. Maybe you acted recklessly and you didn't see who you were dealing with. You couldn't see them ha as who they really were. I feel like...
there's been no growth. Somebody didn't love another person. They didn't take care of another person. There's been a lack of investment. Somebody is really dissatisfied. They've been taken advantage of. There's a lot of unhappiness here, Scorpio. I'm sorry. There's been no growth in a situation. But you're moving on. This is right around the corner. Right around the corner, you are moving away from somebody. Somebody that didn't reciprocate love. They were lying. I think there's a lie that is about to be revealed. It could be definitely dealing with a Leo. They stole your shine. Somebody stole your shine. Saying goodbye, walking away. Somebody is saying goodbye. They are literally walking away from an emotionally disappointing situation. And they're headed towards happiness. The next card is Nine of Cups. They're headed towards emotional fulfillment. It's like, I have to leave this behind. It's time to leave it behind. It's time, for, it's time to have all that I deserve. So somebody is. Right around the full moon is my guess. Right around the full moon. This may start around the full moon. I think that you may be a little scared. It feels like you got this golden opportunity and you may be a little fearful. You may be fearful of starting over next to the Fool card reversed. You may be fearful of, you know, starting from scratch, but I think that's what you're going to do. This is a new enterprise. This is a new doorway opening. And even though it's not easy and it's a little bit scary, I think that you're about to take a step in another direction. Okay? You're headed someplace else. Some of you are actually moving. It's like you're moving. Okay? Like literally going someplace else. I think that um, you're being given the opportunity. And I think that you're going to take it. You have been in a very uh, tricky situation where you have been deceived. You have been lied to. I think that you are basically uh, deciding to cut your losses and, and leave. It's like you take your belongings, you take what's yours, and you go. So I think that, Scorpio, this is a week of you moving you are moving. You're moving. You're moving to a better place. Whether you're physically moving or you're moving mentally, you are moving to a better place. I see it's very intense. I think there could be some tears that are shed. I think it is a difficult decision, but I think that is what is happening. You may not be, you may not see this coming. It could happen very suddenly, all of us, right around the full moon. And what is the full moon? The full moon is the 12th. Something to do with the full moon. I feel like things are about to change. Um, this this may have been a secret wish with because this is a secret and this is a wish. Okay, the star card is like a wish is being granted. Perhaps secretly you were wishing for this to happen and now it's happening. Um, I think that you are being abused by another person, mentally abused, verbally abused, neglected perhaps. Um, it's been, there's been, it's been a really unhappy situation, but I feel like it's really, you're being given an opportunity to go someplace else. And I think that you're going, I do. I think that you are going to go getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I feel like you are headed towards somebody else. And I think that you are, and this is starting over with somebody. I think you're going to, and you're headed towards wish fulfillment. I think you're going to be starting over with someone new. I do. So Scorpio, be prepared for a, a drastic move. Okay. This is moving. Okay. You are moving. So I don't know whether it's mental or physical. I think that, you know, you may have had your heart set on somebody that was literally unavailable, emotionally unavailable, but it's like, that's over. I feel like it's over. I feel like you're saying goodbye. You are saying goodbye to somebody. And you're going to and you're going to start to heal instantly. I see instant like healing. 
It's a time of inspiration, something that you have been hoping for, perhaps in secret, perhaps behind the scenes. You have been hoping for this uh, move. I think it's time. You're going to be getting to know somebody else. The world. One chapter of your life is over, right? This is moving as well. You may be traveling. You, you're definitely going someplace. And you're leaving everything behind. It's like you're leaving the past behind. Something is being eclipsed out of your life. And now the world is is right in front of you. It's like you have you're about to uh, begin a whole new life, begin a whole new stage of life. I think that you have learned some sort of lesson, and it's been it's over. I mean, this is this it's over. Whatever is happening is fated. You see the 29, I don't think I've ever said this with this card, 29 degrees is fate. A fate. It is. It's, it's fate. So we have an end here. We have the end of a cycle, the end of a phase. You are headed towards a better place and you're leaving everything else behind. So Virgo, did I say Virgo? Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo. Maybe you're headed towards a Virgo. I don't know. Maybe you have Virgo in your chart. Maybe you're getting to know a Virgo. Either way, I see you going through a new doorway. Scorpio, you're going through a new doorway and you're starting over with somebody or you're starting over someplace else and it's like you didn't see this coming. And I think that you have been in a loveless situation that has really, uh, it's almost like it's crippled you. But healing is about to begin. So good luck.